Indonesia's Tourism and Creative Economy Ministry hold another Akatara Forum for its 2022 season. The event was known to be the melting pot of filmmakers and investors from all over the world. The 2022 Akatara also encouraged an easy access for film financing while promoting movies as assets worth investing in. Some 49 projects were chosen to be included at the event following a strict curating and judging process. They are categorized into short fiction, long fiction, animation, series, and documentary. The Tourism and Creative Economy Minister Sandiaga Uno hopes the event can mark the film industry revival after going through pandemic-disrupted years. Therefore, the government has prepared 226 billion rupiah for the industry amid the pandemic. Aside from boosting the production, good movies are expected to attract people to enjoy films. For Yonri Revolt, making a documentary film has been a long dream of his. He then worked on a project narrated a Papuan athlete, Julius Uwe. The three-time SEA Games golden medalist has inspired Yunri to pursue his dream of making documentaries despite experiencing lack of funding. He hopes that the 2022 Akatara provide him with more opportunities in gaining financial support for his project. Jadi project ini sebenarnya bercerita tentang uh, seorang legenda atlet namanya Julius Uwe. Uh, dia itu uh, pernah mempersembahkan tiga medali emas Indonesia di ajang internasional. Nah, film ini e, berusaha e, me, me, apa, merefleksi kembali pengalaman-pengalaman dia di masa lalu sebagai atlet, apalagi dia sebagai e, atlet Papua, sehingga e, lebih me, banyak bercerita tentang e, bagaimana e, alam di Papua itu membentuk atlet-atlet Papua menjadi apa ya? Menjadi uh, hebat dalam olahraga. Edwin Irfanus, a director of Semalam di Tanamur mini series, received a lot of positive response from a number of investors as he narrates youth's life in Tanamur, the first pub that opened in Jakarta in the 70s. He hopes that the event would boost Indonesian film industry. Uh, Sebenarnya ini kisah fiksi, tapi settingnya latar belakangnya adalah Uh, sebuah tempat historical landmark di Jakarta yang berdiri sejak awal tahun 70-an gitu loh. Film sendiri fiksi, expect jadi serial ya, jadi TV series gitu, 8 sampai 10 episode. Belum dapat funding, tapi insyaallah mudah-mudahan gitu. Terus ya ya biasanya kan akatara memang itu ya, wow, mempertemukan ide-ide dengan investor dan semoga kami tahun ini beruntung gitu loh. Bisa di pitch sama, sama OTT supaya bisa jadi original series di tempat mereka gitu. Nyanyian Akar Rumput, Darah Biru Arema 2, Keluarga Cemara, and 27 Steps of Maine are among films that had been funded through Akatara and have since received good responses from viewers. The 2022 Akatara is expected to encourage more talents to be developed. The government also hopes that Indonesian filmmakers can get both national and global recognition. CTD contributor reporting from Jakarta.